Uh, police are still on scene. We saw firefighters wrap up a little while ago, but again, police, state fire marshal, police, uh, folks with the ATF, BGE, all still here on scene trying to piece together exactly what happened here. And as we move out of the way, you can see the damage to that home, just a pile of rubble at this point. Just a few minutes ago, we saw the state fire marshal police bring a dog back into the area. The dog uh, appears to be sniffing around, seeing exactly um, what it can find there. Again, uh, folks folks that just out here trying to piece together exactly what happened. We know that two other homes are damaged this morning because of that explosion. We can see a little bit of that damage on the siding of one of the homes next to where that home exploded. This is Crafton Road in Essex. We're kind of at the intersection of Crafton and Avenal Road to give you an idea of where exactly this is. Now we do want to give you a look uh, a, a view of what the scene looked like last night when we were here, when our crews were here, rather. You can see smoke billowing into the air and dozens of fire crews aligning the roads. Firefighters say a man came up to the first responders with burn injuries and medics took him to the hospital. Right now, firefighters aren't quite sure uh, whether that person was inside of the house or outside of the home at the time of the explosion, but there are no other reported injuries. Neighbors nearby say they heard and felt the moment the house exploded. We were kind of just all sitting around doing family movie night and then all of a sudden we heard this massive like boom, just like an explosion, like an actual explosion. The whole house shook, everything shook, everybody stopped. And then he went running outside, fences melted, or a lot of the wires are down in our backyard right now. Our whole garage has got some melting going on in the back of it, so yay. And the Pereiras, who you just heard from, and other neighbors tell 11 News they saw a man walk outside of the home right after that explosion. Again, the cause of that explosion is still under investigation at this hour. We're hoping to get an update on that very soon. For now, reporting live here in Essex, I'm Brianna Ross, WBAL-TV 11 News.